Hi everybody, I'm William Mahoney, Director of Marketing and Sales at Young Industries. In this video, you'll learn about a new product we developed that will increase your operator's productivity. This product is called Safety Flow Grading and will allow the operator to have access to powder in a hopper and also be protected from rotating equipment pinch points. Introducing Young Industries Safety Flow Gratings. Problem, providing reliable flow of powder and have adequate protection for your operators. Solution, Young Industries Safety Flow Grating with Transflow technology to condition powders to freely discharge through the grating materials. Uses of safety flow grating include inlets and outlets of rotary valves, inlets to screw conveyors or flex augers, bag dump station grating, and product inlets on horizontal blenders. Now for a brief demonstration of the safety flow grating. Introducing a new product is called safety flow grating. This is a grating that is mounted between a piece of mechanical equipment and the discharge of a hopper, and it's in a flow area where an operator has to access. The grating purpose is to protect the worker from the piece of mechanical rotating equipment and allow the flow of fine cohesive material into the process. The safety flow grating is constructed with bars spaced close together to protect the operator. The bars are made using transflow technology. Air is introduced into the bars that conditions the product and causes it to flow through the grating. The gratings can be made in sizes as small as 6 inch diameter and as large as 60 inch square or rectangle. They are custom made to match the inlet flange of your process equipment, rotary valve or screw conveyor and the discharge of your hopper. We have set up a demo unit and this demonstrates the safety grating as it is handling cohesive material. We have a rotary valve and we have safety grating sandwiched between the inlet of the rotary valve and the discharge of the hopper. We will introduce cohesive material. We'll show you how without introducing the air to condition the material, how it will bridge across the grating and when we introduce the air, you'll see how the material flows through the grating, through the rotary valve, and then into your process. Now we're looking inside the hopper. You can see the material is on the inlet of the hopper itself. And uh, what we're gonna do is turn on the rotary valve and discharge the material that's in the valve. Uh, you should see the material bridging across the grating before we apply the uh, transflow air to the grating bars. So the first thing we'll do is start the rotary valve. The material has been discharged out of the rotary valve. And you see it appears across the standard grate. It didn't have the transflow. Now we're going to apply the transflow and see the effect it has on the material. As you can see, the material passes through the grate, into the rotary valve, and then into the process. If you leave the air or the gas on, the material will continuously flow through the grating. For more information about safety flow gratings, go to www.younginds.com backslash capital S capital F or give us a call at 570-546-3165. Thank you for watching.